Good morning, Sagas. I'm Patrick Karamian, and today is Friday, August 18th. And I'm Patrick Moyna, and this is SNN. Today is also National Ice Cream Pie Day. Celebrate Friday with some ice cream pie. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. If there is an error or omission on your schedule, see your counselor during the period in error. Applications for the California Scholarship Federation are available during brunch and lunch in room Q1701. Completed applications are due no later than Friday, August 25th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Collada. If you have a textbook you no longer need, make sure to exchange it or return textbooks as soon as possible. Want to travel to Spain next June? Go to Mrs. Fulkerson's classroom, M1307, during lunch for more information. There will be a parent meeting on August 22nd or August 24th at 7 in M1307. If you are a freshman enrolled in Spanish, French, or Mandarin, there will be a parent and student meeting on Tuesday, August 22nd at 6 in the S Lecture. Now let's go to Haley Rudder with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Haley Rudder with your sports news. Last night, varsity and JV football had their first scrimmage of the school year <coughs> excuse me, against Canyon. Here's a recap from last night's games. Ugh, seriously? All right, what do you think we could uh, improve on? Uh, physicality, you know, like, you know, you can never be too physical, you never can be too intense. We've got to bring it, you know, we've got, we've got hard opponents, and we'll see how it goes. What do you think we did good at this game? Uh, I, I think we just came out to play. Like, in practice, like, with football, it's, it's really gone soft, and not, it's not a bad thing, but safety is the biggest thing in practice right now, so coming out and being able to hit uh, fully is really the thing that uh, football is about, and I think that's why we did good today. How do you think uh, the year's going to turn out? Really, I think it's going to be a great year. I definitely, we compete against some uh, high caliber teams here. So I think this year we'll definitely be successful. We should compete against every team and uh, leave the mark this year. Good luck on the season, boys. In other football news, Frosh football plays against Canyon today at 4 at Saugus. There will also be a burger bash after the Frosh game in the Saugus quad. It costs $5, and order forms are available in the ASB office. Today, girls basketball will continue tryouts in the gym from 6 to 8. Next Tuesday, girls volleyball will have a scrimmage against Burroughs High School at Saugus. All teams play at 4. Next Thursday, girls tennis will have their first game against Chaminade High School. Varsity plays at 3 at Saugus, and JV plays at 3 at the Warner Center. If you are interested in playing softball this year, but not in the fall class, See Coach Archer in R1807. Students who have just transferred to Saugus from another high school and intend to participate on one of our athletics teams must see the athletic directors in A109 at lunch to start the transfer paperwork process in order to be CIF eligible. That's all for me. Now let's go to our Heart District Science teachers with more information on Monday Solar Eclipse. Good morning, Heart District. I hope you're having a good day. Yesterday, you looked at the relative sizes of the Earth, Moon, and the Sun. Today, we're playing with shadows. And in particular, if I get this set up just right, you see that nice dark disk, that really dark section in the center there. That is the deep, dark shadow. But if I move the ball a little bit, you start seeing a fuzzy edge it's not quite as dark as the rest of it. Those are the two parts of the shadow we're talking about today. Sort of like the egg yolk and the egg white. Mr. Spann is going to come and, and talk about the dark part. During a total eclipse, the darkest part of the shadow is called the umbra. If you have a large light source like the sun, 
and a smaller blocking source like the moon, the umbra tapers off until it finally disappears at a point. Because of the rotation of the Earth and the motion of the moon around the Earth, when the umbra does touch the Earth, it will trace a path across a certain portion of it and if you're in that path, you'll experience a total eclipse. If you're not in that path, like in Santa Clarita, Mrs. Jimenez will tell you what you'll experience. Here in Santa Clarita, we're going to be experiencing a penumbra, or a partial eclipse. It's when the edges of the moon's shadow fall across the Earth. The sun will still be bright, but the moon will eat a chunk out of it. The moon will continue to move or orbit more and more into the sun's path until it reaches its maximum or umbra. This is very important. If you're going to watch the solar eclipse, you must keep your glasses on the entire time. Oh boy, I can't wait for it to get dark in the middle of the day. If you were picked for a parking spot with the lottery, today at brunch is the last day to pay for it. Then anyone who does not pay for their spot will be removed from the list and will continue with other lottery picks that have been on the wait list. Open period stickers are now available in the AP office. Make sure to enter through the door facing the quad. If you are having trouble logging into computers in the library, remember your username is your ID number and your password is your first initial, last initial, period, and six digit birthday. We apologize for not including the period in yesterday's broadcast. To log into your Heart District Google account, your email is your ID number followed by at my.heartdistrict.org. The password for past students is the same as last year, and for new students is your first initial, last initial, period, and six-digit birthday. To log into Infinite Campus, your username is your ID number, and your password is your first initial, last initial, and six-digit birthday. Did anyone find a bracelet? If so, please see Mrs. Fulkerson in M1307. That's all for today. I'm Patrick Moyna. Stay tuned for SNN Radio in Saugus Today. And I'm Patrick Kramian. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.